Yesterday, I asked you to describe yesterday, Twitter in just four I asked words. You yesterday, I asked you to Yesterday, I asked you to summarize the I asked you to summarize Hey everybody, here she would here, and today we're going to be um, playing Jack's forehead surgery. Yeah, he uses Z! Holy crap. Well, it's Tuesday afternoon, and I guess I'd better get going. I don't want to be too late for my appointment at the forehead surgery. You're using the arrow key. A arrow keys? Well, I mean. Whatever. If you get stuck, try interacting with everything. Let's talk to the dog. Oh, it's Klondike. If you didn't know, this is a, uh, an RPG. Ah, uh, I'm going to get surgery, not lying back in bed. Um, basically, this is an RPG about Jax Films, um, the YouTuber, and he had a challenge where you had to use tutorials from Linda.com to make an, um, something and then send it to him. Apparently someone made this amazing RPG. It looks awesome. Um, and he also said do a let's play of it, so I did it. Let's read the sign, even though it says nothing written on it. Clearly just a wood. Forehead surgery incorporated. Oh, that seems... It's, wow, the surgery is just next door. That's convenient. It's almost too convenient. Nah, I'm just being paranoid. I'm sure everything will be fine. Yeah, also the name Forehead Surgery Incorporated isn't... Par yeah. <laughs> they have a giant clock. And apparently it's like 3 o'clock. It's 1 p.m. Get it, get it right. Nothing like a cool drink before getting half of your head artificially, <laughs> artificially modified. Yeah! What do you have to say about this table, Jack? Nothing. It's a pretty nice table. Let's talk to the knight. He looks like someone... You need an appointment before you can undergo surgery. But I do have an appointment. I made one yesterday. You also need a session card. Well, where do I get one of those? I'll talk to the lady at the counter. This looks like a Pokemon Center, like a really glorified Pokemon Center, sort of. Welcome to the- okay. Welcome to the- <laughs> Okay, I can't do a girl voice. Welcome to the Forehead Surgery Incorporated. My name is Lucy. How can I help you today? Hi, I'm here for an appointment with Dr. Green. Sure thing, and you are? Jack, Jack, do glass. Um, whatever. Um, also I just realized that they used real pictures of him, but yet everyone else is, um, not a picture. I'll just look you up and print off a session card, then you should be good to go. Actually, he should've said John Douglas, but what ifs? Are you sure you made an appointment and you're not showing up in the database? Well, I was definitely put on hold by someone for three hours yesterday. Are you using an alias? If you are, I'm going to need your real name. Oh, it's... it's yeah. Oh, well, I... Uh, fine, it's John. John Douglas. But please call me Jack. Sure thing, John. I love the music, by the way. Did this person make it himself? Because this music's so wonderful. Here we go, John. Douglas. Appointment for basic forehead reduction surgery, correct? Yep, that's the one. Excellent. Well, here's your session card. Session card obtained. Just show it to Richard over there, and remember... Have a forehead horrific day. Okay. Was that really necessary? Trust me, I wish it wasn't. Oh, uh, well, good thing they acknowledged it. <laughs> I like how that made no sense. There, I got a session card. Now can I go through? I suppose so. Follow me. Thanks, Richard. Why are you dressed up as a knight, Richard? I'll go inform Dr. Green that he has a patient waiting. I'm Richard. Dr. Green. John Douglas.
Douglas has arrived for his three o'clock forehead reduction surgery. Yes, now inform him I'll be right. I'll be out momentarily, as you wish. Doctor Green will be out momentarily. So I heard. I don't know where where Jack's voice. How I came up with Jack's voice. I don't know if that sounds anything like him or not. You must be John, correct? Please call me Jack. Very well. Really though, stick to Jack. If you insist. Now you're in need of basic forehead reduction, correct? Yep, that's the one. Although with a forehead like that, it's not like I needed to ask any. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, nothing. Come with me, and we'll get started right away. Yeah, I think that'd be best. So, so feeling nervous? A sudden change of heart, perhaps? Nah, I'm all good. Let's just get this over with. Very well. The second surgeon would be arriving soon enough, so you won't have to wait long. Why do I need two surgeons? Word reduction surgery, while simple enough, requires more than two hands to complete with satisfactory results. I could complete the procedure on my own, but your face would likely retain some unwanted stretchiness. It would make you look rather odd, actually. Um, yeah, maybe a second surgeon is a good idea. Who are they, though? Actually, I believe you two have already been introduced. I'm not letting that guy in full body armor operate on me, if that's who you're talking about. His name is Richard, John, or Jack. Sorry, sorry, Jack. I love you. No, no, not Richard. He can't stand the sight of blood. Why does he- wait, why does he walk around with armor? With armor. That, who is it? It's the ner- oh, it's- uh, what's her face? Lia mi mi Hiya! Ah, uh, that wasn't her voice. Whatever. Hiya, you aren't waiting for me or anything. Wait, so the secretary is also a surgeon? No, the surgeon is also a secretary. For today, anyway. Rick called in sick, and I was the only available staff member who could take his place. You know, Richard. Richard could have done it. He could... You know. So, then, who's the desk out front? Nobody. This place is appointment only, and seeing how you're the last scheduled for today, we don't really need anyone out front. Good thing they're explaining everything. Oh, whoa, no, I forgot to read it. Can I go back? Nope. I hope. About the surgery, though. Yes, what is it? Well, the equipment that we need for the procedure has been... Don't tell me. Taken. It's all gone. They must have stowed it all away underground again. Blast! That's the turn. This month. Ah, uh, what's going on here? Is something wrong? You could say that, yeah, we're missing all the necessary supplies to operate. What do you mean, missing? Well, you see, this facility was built on top of an old dumping ground for nuclear waste. They closed it up years ago to fears for human safety, so we decided to put forehead surgery business on it. I was wondering why I felt all tingly. Yes, well, normally if you're here for just a few hours, there aren't any notable effects. If you're here any longer, though, there's a pill you've got to take. It helps get rid of tumors and skin lesions. I don't know how to pronounce that. License, license, probably. I'm not a, I'm not a forehead surgeon uh, or a nuclear waste it's biology. Oh no! <laughs> Shut up! I'm stupid. What does this have to do with the missing equipment? The waste down there has been sitting around for so long that strange creatures have formed in the depths. Occasionally, they come up and cause some sort of inconvenience, nothing too major, but still rather annoying. Normally, we get Rick to deal with them, but he's away on sick leave. You might be here for quite a while, I'm afraid. Well... Guys, do it instead. Or does Richard have some special powers or something? Well, he doesn't have a fear of spiders. If that counts. He's also capable of running around for quite some time before needing to rest. In my old age, I'd quickly become worn out in a few minutes. A 
But how long will he be away? What's he sick with? He's, it's, uh, he said it's the blue, so he'll probably be back in a little over a week. You have beds available, so you're welcome to stay until then if you want. N no, it's fine. I'll, I, I live just next door. Well, then you just be off, I'm afraid. Unless you mind an improvised procedure using scissors and no aesthetics. That is. Aw, oh, man. I thought I'd finally be getting rid of this gargantuan forehead, and it turns out I have to wait over a week. Yeah, sorry about that. Actually... Yes, what is it? Perhaps if he doesn't mind... Are you talking about me? That's a great idea, actually, Jack. How would you feel about going down instead of Rick? Oh, I'd totally be cool with it. I go raiding all new killer waste dumps every other day, actually. Excellent! Dr. Crawford, could you go to get the expedition kit? What do you do? Uh, you know I was kidding, right? What, really? Of course I was. Why on earth would I willingly go down into a nuclear waste dump to fight off mystery monsters? Well, if you really feel that way, then I'll go to Dr. Crawford and put the expedition away versus the wire transfer. Well, wait, wire transfer? What are you talking about? Your payment, obviously. What did you think we'd be? We'd get you to do this for free. You're not quite that stingy. Although, we did choose to buy land to learn to give away stuff for a dirt cheap price. Just how much money are you offering? Well, you're not getting the same pay as a full time employee, but it equates to about 10% more than the fee of your surgery. You know what? I'll do it. Wonderful. Just one question. How will you protect me from the radiation down there? Remember that hill Dr. Crawford mentioned? Ah, okay. Sounds simple enough. It's basically the same thing, except it's a suppository. Uh, are, are you serious? <laughs> of course not. I was just kidding. Well, I got the stuff. Wait, uh, why don't the nuclear waste monsters steal the box instead of random supplies? Creatures are particularly intelligent, and merely attracted to strong chemical presence. We can't afford to c c contaminate our surgical equipment, so it's usually washed in strong bleach. Well, here's the expedition box. Expedition box obtained. Go on, open it. It's got everything you'll need inside. I believe access was my inventory. Yep. I've got 450 health, uh, 90 MP. Let's go with equipment. Um... Accessory... Oh. Wait, what, where was it? Items? Oh, there it is. No, oh. There we go. Radiation sickness pill obtained. Blastomatic 3000 obtained. Communicator obtained. Revisions obtained. Why is it full of junk? See, I told you it looked like rubbish. Yes, yes, I know. It's actually the stuff that Rick uses when he goes down to the dump. That... Oh, the only thing we put in there was that communicator. If anything goes wrong, you can contact us with that. You can contact us on that device. Don't worry, I should be able to handle this myself. Oh, dang, I forgot to do his Jack Films voice. Yes, well, I'll believe that when I see it. That gun is able to take down all of the creatures affected by the radiation. It won't even scratch anything else, though, so it's perfectly safe. The bread, though, was something I gave to Rick a very long time ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it's developed intelligence by now, so no one read it. Well, why is it still here, then? He said he needed it for something. I don't really know. I don't really want to know for what. I'll be leaving it alone, though. I hate to interrupt, but the longer we stand here talking about... Talking, the longer it is before you're able to undergo your surgery. That's true, well, I guess I'll keep going then. Before you do, though, the last object is the radiation signal, so you'll want to take it before heading down there. Okay, step one, take a pill. Step two, get the stuff back. Step three, get surgery. Easy. Well, good luck. The stairs are just around the corner, but you see it in Jack. Okay. Okay, now we're back in full control. The tutorial must be done, and now we can save. Um... Okay, so let's go take our pill. There we go. That's definitely the 
worst chocolate I've ever tasted. Okay, so here's the stairs. Let's go down and fight some nuclear monsters with something. Do we have a weapon? Jeez, seven flights of stairs really takes it out of you. Why can't there be an elevator? Even a slippery slide would have been better, but you wouldn't have been able to get back up, Jack. Oh, hey, that must be the communicator I got. Why are you talking to yourself, Jack? Hey, John, I take it your communicator works. It's Jack. And yes, it works just fine. Excellent. Now the device can be fitted into your ear, meaning you'll always be in contact with us. Yeah, you're right. Neat. It's also got a camera, so now we can see everything you do through your ear. Isn't that a violation of my private prom my privacy or anything? Well, what what was it you planned on doing in there? Not much, I guess. We should be off, and by we, I mean you. Okay, so we get the tutorial members with us forever. Okay, I already took the pill. I hope that was the pill. Huh, it's not opening. Hmm, that's odd. Try hitting it a bunch. It always works on my computer. Somehow I doubt that. I'll give it a try, though. Oh, come on, what a piece of crap. Just open already, dear. Now my hand hurts. Great. Well, better gonna move on, I suppose. Do we have to hit doors multiple times for them to open? Okay, so what exactly am I looking for? All they took this time was a scalpel, some stitching, my rubber gloves, and the anesthetics. You've only had to find four things. Think you can manage it? Is the moon made of cheese? Um, no. Oh yeah, that's right, it's not made of cheese. Well, there shouldn't be any problems, okay? Sure thing, John. And then he's gonna say it's Jack, cause it's f Oh, nope, he just- he didn't- Wait, oh, these are walls. Ooh, spooky. Spooky music. Spooky. Okay, so where are we gonna go? Oh, are those monsters? Those- wait, those are on the wall. Oh no, this isn't- this is water. Okay, so this is like... This is like, sewage. Okay, um, I want to see what happens if we go this way. Okay, there's many doors. So, okay, that one opens simply. What's what? Oh, what the hell was that? That's the reason I don't go down there. That's what we've been, we've taken to calling a whistling spider. It makes that noise when it senses something close by and it's extremely aggressive. You might want to step back a bit. Well, do. What if I want to attack the spider? Um, I'm sorry to mention this, but the camera picked up something around its neck. Let me guess, one of the things I'm meant to be getting back? That's right. Well then, what's the problem? I'll shoot it with this gun you gave me. It's interesting you should say that, because these those spiders are the only things the gun doesn't work on. That's really stupid. <sighs> well, isn't that great? You'll just have to find some other way of dealing with it, I'm afraid. I was just looking for a power switch. The spider is standing on an uncovered wire con conduct. We're in to turn on the power and you'll zap it to next week. Hey, that sounds pretty neat. I'll take a look around. I wonder where it could be. But here's a shiny thing. Well, it's still not clean water, but it is better than the goop in the other room. Wait a minute, what's this? Mechanical key. Nice, some sort of key. Kind of slimy, though. Wait, can I use that on this machine? This thing says main power unit on the front. That most likely activates the dumps electricity. Yeah, I kind of guessed. Well, what are you waiting for? Turn it on and fry that arachnid. I'll do. Hold on, what just happened? It would seem that the power was already on before you pressed on the switch. That does make sense, actually. I mean, the lights were on and everything. Those lights are a time switch, so when you turn the power back back on, they might take a bit to kick in. I guess I'll just have to wait around in the dark then. And the spiders could be right next to us. Oh, the spider's gone! Hmm? What was that extra noise? It seems the wire conduit is only active for about a second after the power is turned back on. 
So stupid spiders suffered a shocking surprise. Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> it was funny. That was easy. That was an easy puzzle. Can we get to fight these guys or else the health and stuff's not gonna... Well, that was easy enough. Well, it wasn't on long enough to kill the spider, the wild carnivore. At least gave me a big shot that made drop stitching. Wait, so the spider's still alive? Yeah, but I doubt it. We wanted to go after Jack and North. Great, let's move on. I mean, where did it go, though? Did we leave the door open? I guess, maybe? Whatever. I don't like this music very much. I mean, I kind of like it. It gets really spooky, but scary! That's a lot of pipes. They've been pumping who knows what down here for forever. As long as we don't have to pay for their power uses, I suggest we leave them alone. What about this water guy? Oh yeah, we have a gun that apparently they gave us. Um, what's that thing? It's one of the creatures that likes to take our stuff. It's completely harmless, so you shouldn't have to take make much trouble. It appears to have ingested the bottle of anesthetics. I have to destroy that thing to get it back. Woohoo! Okay, so now we get to attack it. Ooh! Yeah! It's like, uh, it's like Earthbound. Living waste emerged. <laughs> Escape! Escape! It's scary! Okay. Uh, fight him! Blood him! Wait. Attack. Living waste. Jack attacks, but deals no damage. Living waste. Squealing voice. Or scrunching voice. Whatever. Guard. Jack got all enemies to switch to noise. Attack! Our, uh, items. It might be a really old loaf of bread, but, uh, okay, it's useless. Just don't eat it, seriously. Use the moldy bread. It doesn't look particularly hungry. Besides, I don't really want to save it for later. Probably not, though. Okay. Dang it. it seems you better use the gun. <laughs> yeah. Nine, 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 nine. It's over 9,000 damage! Jack was victorious. Oh, that image, John. <laughs> Anesthetics found. Or anesthetic. Well, I got the anesthetic. Wonderful! I hate switching between these voices. At least this game seems to run at a consistency of 60 FPS. That's cool. Um. Um, I don't know where else to go. I mean, I made a first full circle, so I'm assuming one of the other items is over here. Yep. And then the last one's behind the big door. <gasps> a flower! Are you guys gonna give me any hints? According to the label, these boxes are full of themselves. Huh? Maybe this key will work. Oh! Or not. I need the correct key to use this thing. Um, how do I use uh items? Oh wait, what? Night. Activate the uh, electrically powered door in the waste dump. Turns out it did fall in the water. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't have any armors or weapons, apparently. Can I just shoot it with the gun? Items, uh... Um... Wait. Okay. I need the correct key to use this thing. Well, I have a, I have a key, but is it the right one? I don't know how to use it. Okay. Um, I'm supposed. I guess I don't have the the key. Maybe, maybe that'll open this door. Okay, let's go here. Hey, would you mind opening this door? Well, it is electrically powered, but. Actually unable to do that, I'm afraid. Rick uses his key to get through it. 
Does that mean we do have to wait for Vivek to feel better? Well, he did lose his key down there once. He had to get a replacement key, so I guess it's still down there somewhere. You'll just have to find it. Well then, maybe that key I found earlier will fit. Sounds like a good idea to me. So it looks like uh, the key I found... Don't worry, it was. Our scanner picked up at least three items in other rooms, so if you haven't already retrieved three of the missing objects, then please do so first. Oh, fine. Okay, so I need to... So I need to go get the other items first. Um, let's go back in these rooms. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here, actually. Hmm. What else do I do? I'm not very sure. This is where we fought the slimy. Um, maybe we can go check the lockers and the trash and stuff. Well, would you look at that? This stuff definitely belongs in the trash. Well, what do you know? These lockers, which are named after their ability to be locked, are locked. That's actually... I've... That... In, like... I'm speechless. <laughs> in, like, MMOs, you can find stuff in lockers. In, like, they're hardly ever locked, but I mean, sometimes they are. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Are there any... Any other doors? Any other doors? I don't see any other doors. Where are the other doors? Where are the other doors? I don't know. Let's do this. Let's go check this room again. Oh yeah, this is the one with the flower. Uh, we don't have the right key. Yeah, warning contains boxes. Oh, so these are these are boxes. Wait, can I can I can I move these? What items do I have? Maybe I can use the, the bread. Uh oh. Did I save? Nope! Well, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. I... I figured it out all by myself, and I did not need the help of a Let's Play. I just thought of it in my mind, so don't even... Do, shut up. I don't feel that bad, because, um... I, there was another YouTuber, I don't know who it was, but... He couldn't figure this out either. But I mean, actually looking back on it, it's actually really simple. And, um, I'm a little stupid. Just wait, wait, what? That sounds like something's blocking it. What do you mean something's blocking it? Um. Shoot it. Wait, maybe... Okay, um... I don't know. I didn't watch all of it. I just saw the button and... I don't know. Maybe I didn't figure this out. Just a good thing I got that, that... No, I didn't use the Let's Play. What are you talking about? <sighs> Remember whenever I said... That, like, sometimes in RPGs, lockers are locked, and sometimes they aren't. Well, apparently some lockers that look exactly like the other lockers, which were locked, are unlocked. And they have a key. And that's what we needed. So, uh, yeah. Let's grab that. Oh, hey, that's neat. I wonder where it goes. I, I have a neat, I have a feeling where it goes. I have a feeling where it goes. Jackie boy! Okay, we need to go to the other room. Back with the flower in it. This flower is annoying. 
this flower is a hard enemy. I'm gonna, I'm just, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'll do. I just don't know. I just don't know. I, if I, I, I bet that rusty key I picked up earlier will fit in this hole. Yep. It broke. Oh well, at least it's still turned. Yeah, Jack. Now we can go and press that button to drain all the water. This is this is wonderful gameplay, by the way. I mean, this is what you would do in a regular game, but not in an RPG. In an RPG, it'd be much more annoying because you'd have to fight enemies in 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 that little tunnel area just randomly. But I mean, oh yeah, but you know. Who knows? Yeah. Sounds like all the water in the other room's been drained. In all the other rooms? Is there something? Wait, there was. Wait. This is a sewage room. Just gonna mm -hmm. save. Okay, nothing in here. So the only other room with the sewage in it is the flower room, which will go take care of that flower. <sighs> this is annoying. This, this is just sort of annoying. Whenever you uh, have to do this maze traveling to rooms. If, you, if it was just the puzzles, it wouldn't be that annoying. But because there's this giant maze... <sighs> Okay, now we can walk across this, but first I want to check the trash. Man, oh, man, that's, I don't remember the voice. Man, this place is full of more trash than I could make fun of in a lifetime. This box has baby photos written on it. I used to own a very similar box back home, except I had the foresight to give it to a cremation rather than a burial. What exactly is this thing? It looks like some sort of carnivorous plant. And it's got my rubber gloves. That means I've got to kill it, right? Yep. Oh, I've always hated gardening. Ha! <laughs> Pun! Oh man, this thing looks awesome! Drooling flora merged. Fight! Attack it! <coughs> Jack attacks with two smells better. Wait, what did it say? I didn't get to read it. Wiggles around. Wiggles around what? Hypnotically. Okay, then what does it do? This might. I can't read it! This might be good for a vine. Oh! <laughs> Drooling floor took 999 damage. It's over 9,000! Rubber gloves found. Well, I got your gloves. Good job. Okay, now what do I do? Because I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do now. Did the water level go down? Maybe I can go in here now. Oh, yeah. It's a save. So, what's with all the green? This place houses some of the nuclear waste. There are many more identical rooms, but we've never needed to go any further than this one. I bet I'll come out of here with a not-so-healthy tan. Oh yes, have fun with that. Our little gizmo says that that's the last thing you're looking for. Our little gizmo says that the last thing you're looking for is somewhere down there, here. You're almost done, John. I feel like asking you to call me Jack for a third time would actually egg you on. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to look for uh, whatever's down here. The sooner I can leave, the better. Good luck! I believe we need the scalpel. Okay. Let's do this! Let's, let's make it wonderful. This is boss material right here. This is boss. A big empty room. And then there's a, a ladder. Ellipses. Holy cannoli! It's the crab monster! 
please don't tell me I have to fight that thing. You have to fight that thing. Are you sure it's a hundred percent ne- It's a hundred percent necessary step. I'm afraid so. That behemoth apparently has the scalpel for whatever reason. Seriously, why would it even need a scalpel? Also, what is it? I don't particularly care to find out. Just destroy the beast and be done with it. It looks pretty big, though. Yes, I doubt the gun will work on this particular enemy. What am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll think of something. Look, I'm not a superhero. I can't send it flying with a single punch. If you let it eat you, then you'll be able to tear your way out through its stomach. Jeez, that's kind of graphic. Graphic and effective. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna charge it and hope for the best. Can you wait? Whenever I'm ready, of course. This is the final boss. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the whole game. Why not? The let's play. I mean, not let the document. Uh, no, never mind. It said it's only like it'll take only a half hour or so. So this is a decent video. Jack, wait. Huh? Who said that? It's m it was me, Jack. Jaden Smith, what are you doing here? I came to wish good luck upon you, Jack. Wow, I don't know what to say. Say nothing, my prince, for what are words but simple vibrations of the molecules that surround our entire beings? Wow, you're right. I feel so inspired. That's it, Jack. Let the inspiration fill you and give you an insurmountable strength. Goodbye, Jack. I'm so ready for this. The strange encounter it fills you with determination. But what is life but a metaphor for a giant crab winged monster? Well, here comes nothing. Let's fight! Abomination! This looks awesome! Attack it! Deals no bad. It seems like you better use the gun. Okay, it swings with the tentacles. Items. Use the blastomatic. I know you're supposed to use the bread, but whatever. No, no, absorb the blast if it was nothing. The abomination took none. Aw, come on, what gives? I was afraid of this. That gun can't harm that hideous creature. You'll have to try something else. Do you have anything left over that you could use? I don't know. I'll take a look. I can't read what it says, but I'll just. If you want to read it, you can just pause it. I don't care. Guard it! It misses Jack by millimeters. Okay, attack. Oh, I chose the gun again. And then we use the moldy bread. You know, that monster looks like it eat pretty much anything. So, I guess it's feeding time. Abomination swallowed the moldy bread whole. Abomination takes one damage. Abomination's hit with a hideous aftertaste. Abomination took calamitous damage! Well, that was definitely easier than I thought it would be. Jack was victorious. His scalpel found. Wow, I guess greed is the deadliest sin. Well done. I honestly didn't expect you to take so long, but at least you're done now. Gee, you're welcome. We can get your surgery underway as soon as you come back. Well do. Forehead Surgery Incorporated. I must thank you for all of this, Jack. Without your help, we would have had to wait for Rick's return. Uh, or worse, buy new equipment. Wait, so I didn't even need to go down there and get all your stuff? Uh, never mind that. We do we begin the procedure. <sighs> Fine, I'm too tired to argue. Excellent. If you'll just lie down on the table and take the anesthetics, we'll be done before you can say Dr. Green is a miser. Or you just call me a little slut. <laughs> sure thing. Several hours later. You know, I really think you've outdone yourself this time. I think you're right. This forehead job looks absolutely amazing. Oh, look, he's waking up. Oh, boy, I hope he likes it. Well, John, you're awake. Don't call me that. Well? Uh, well, how do you feel? Uh, okay, I guess. Is the surgery over? 
Yes, and it was a resounding su success. Here's a mirror. See yourself. Um, a mirror, huh? Great. I want to see my beauty. Do you like it? I I love it. I've never seen such a beautiful sight. Then. Wanna well, see who made this awful game? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Josh! This is for Color Corner and Jane Smith by Josh. Um. Opening track. Oh, that's that. Oh, that's the light switch song. This game is not endorsed in any way by Jaden Smith. Any reference to Jaden Smith is purely for comedic purposes. Yeah, Jacksonville makes my old man Jaden Smith because of his little stupid Twitter quotes. Well, we did it. We beat the game. Thank you for watching. And um, if you're here, the go, go link to Jack's films below. Even though you probably know him, because he's got like two million subs now. Whatever. Oh, bye. Yesterday, I asked you to help me write Jane Smith's next tweet. Here are your best answers. If we can't see glass, how do we know it's real? When you run, do the things behind you exist? Why turn the frown upside down when you can just smile? Why leave the glass half empty when you can easily get a full cup? Gloves or socks for your smaller feet? If my clock runs out of batteries, does time cease to exist? Only if it's a bomb.